Legend of Total War here with part 9 of my Total War Warhammer Let's Play campaign as the Warriors of Chaos. Alright, so previously we've uh, destroyed Prague. We got the last of his unique items, so he's he's maxed out to the to the max now. He really can't get much better unless we manage to find, you know, um, better other kinds of equipment. Let me just see here. Forbidden Rod. No, like, he's not... doesn't need that much magic. What he's got is just fine. Alright, now we're going to do the very difficult battle I think it's going to be at Fort Ost Ostrosk. Okay, so we don't have enough here just yet, but that's why we're bringing in the other guy. So we bring him in, and we use his forces first as a throwaway. Hmm, but part of the problem is, do we go in with large armies or not? Because obviously we need to use the artillery to blow them up. Even with this, it says the balance of power is not in our favour. Okay, let's have a look at the scout terrain. Oh god, it's even worse. It's one of these. Well, whatever, I'm still going to do it. So this is a, this is probably the biggest battle so far of this campaign. It's huge. We've got I mean, we've got you know a full proper stack with a garbage stack, up against a full proper stack and a garrison. Then again, their full stack there is not comprised of like elite troops. They've got a few outriders. Those are reasonable. Archon can kill them. Right, now, oh god damn it! From here, really? Oh shit! There must be a lot of chaos in the area because yeah, this is magic. Okay. Um, just thinking. Oh, hang on a second. We can hide in this forest here. Okay. This won't be too bit difficult. Um, Alright, you stand there. You both here. That shouldn't be able to attack us. I mean, too bad I can't tell these guys to delay. We need to destroy both of these towers here. And I need Archeon to essentially soak up that much... Uh, soak up that stuff. I need these guys to rush into the forest and hide. Essentially, it's not really about hiding, it's just about getting out of their arc of... their firing arc. Actually, I think at the beginning of this, it doesn't really matter. Why don't we just... just keep them behind? We should be somewhat safe. We don't want to miss... anyone. Make sure we bring them up. What the hell? Because those towers, even though they did get a bit of a nerf, they're still too powerful, in my opinion. A bit overpowered. I mean, I don't really care. Because if it's overpowered for them, it's overpowered for us too. So it's, in a way, it's fair. Oh good, they're not even active on that yet. Oh, yeah they are. Don't you dare hide, Archon. Don't you fucking dare. Alright, you guys, get over here. If you don't fire at will, shoot this. I need to keep him moving to stop him from getting destroyed. It's okay if these guys take a little bit of damage, but get over here. Come over here. Gotta get out of range of that tower there. See, that, that one there took quite a bit of damage. I've got to be careful. So these guys here are getting wrecked. But like I said, I could lose all of them 
in fact, that's what we brought them here to do, to, to use them so that um, these guys here don't get totally wiped out. They're our cannon fodder. No, 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 you're getting too close over this way. Too close, over here. Okay, we're halfway through destroying this. Even when it lands, it hit. If it's not a direct hit, it doesn't do that much damage. What are you doing? Over here. Okay, so we probably lost about, I don't know, 100, 200 men just on that. But that's okay. It's just the start. We'll be fine. Don't you dare go into the forest, because I don't want you to hide. Don't do it. Don't do it. Damn it. Because, yeah, we can't afford for that to get destroyed. Okay, that one's neutralized. All this falling shit is quite distracting. That was actually a good hit there. And then mortars are shooting at us as well, which is fine. Let them. And now they're also shooting arrows at us. Again, not a big deal. Don't forget, we've. Got, where's our potion of healing? Oh. We don't have a potion of healing. Okay. Not the end of the world. I just. Last time we used him, he did have a potion of healing. Okay, just. The last shots. Here we go. Alright, good stuff. That's done. So they've used up about... two-fifths of their ammo. Now then, what are we going to do with these guys? We've got 22 ammo and 25 ammo. So they started off with 40. Mortar shots. Right, I think I think we can ignore this. Let's just blow up this section of wall. Okay, everyone, start making your way over here. I can't. I couldn't have hidden in the forest anyway. It doesn't let me. Okay, you guys will be safe over here. Those help to do just a bit more damage. So far, they haven't done much damage to the wall. Oops, that's not good. Get back. Okay, all of you guys, stop. Don't want you guys getting killed before uh, of you. Before you know, you're actually getting into melee. And like I said, it didn't really matter if they do just end up wasting all their ammo. But that's not their primary objective. Really, wasting the enemy's ammo by actually getting our guys killed is the least efficient way to uh, to deal with their ammo. The most efficient way, um, either kill them, if you can't do that straight away, then dodge it. If it can be dodged. I 
don't even think these, these shots can do any damage. 142 armor. I don't think I've ever seen anyone get that much. Apart from Marco on. We should have enough ammo to destroy it. Oh, hang on. Watch out. They've almost run out of ammo, and that'd be an entire unit. Essentially neutralized. Because get them into melee, it's easy. Yeah, we could probably keep dodging these shots, but that's not what I'm trying to do. They've got loads of ammo anyway. Hang on a sec, let me see this. How much damage is actually done on a direct hit with an arrow? Or a bolt, whatever. It's like three damage each, it's not much. But, you know, enough of them hit end up killing it. Eleven and eight ammo left. I hope we can still destroy this because it doesn't give us much room to move around with this. Good to see all of our, you know, heavy infantry are in good shape. I don't think we've got enough ammunition to destroy that. Okay, I think their artillery has been used up. Alright, now I just want to see how much damage we can get done using our, um, our magic. Maybe I should have sent him in earlier so the artillery actually destroys him. Ooh, hello. I can kill you. Yeah, Dimitri, Ontario. Fucker, come on. Get over here. Of them, yeah. Come on, okay, and you can kill them. See, look how much damage he does. Good. They're going to do more damage to their own troops, this way. I have to hope the guns don't shoot us, because guns will do a lot of damage to him, because it just bypasses armor. This guy's nearly dead. He has so much damage to them. Here's one way to get rid of guns. Still got heaps of power reserve. So we gotta kill their captain, kill their general. Don't you dare shoot at me. Still kinda of wish I had the um what's it called? Um the potion of healing, so we could have stayed in here a bit longer. Okay, 
Get over here. You gotta kill him. This is what he's good at doing. Oh, you're back, are you? Let's kill you first. He's down to half health now. Once he's dead, you can leave. Of course, we've still got plenty of magic. We'll make sure to use it, but, you know, over the course of the battle. He's nearly dead. Give him just a couple more hits. He's dead, or wounded, whatever. I guess you can stay a little bit longer, maybe until you're down to like 1,500 health. I mean, the exit's right there. Because what this is doing is, you know, blowing up their own units. God, look at these kills. I just want to make him stronger, but I know I can't. He's reached his limit. Alright, time to leave. That didn't really go in the direction I wanted it to. But that's okay. I have an idea. You come over here. You're going in first as a sacrifice. I want you, what I want them to do is just lock them in place, and then I'll use the flame right on top of the guy. I don't care about this loser. Oh wait, you've got the banner of flame. Maybe I should send someone else. Oh, who cares? It doesn't matter. It's not like we lose the banner of flame. Why is the recharge blocked? I don't really care. So how many? Oh, hang on. What have you got for us? You can do it as. Oh, you've got the potion of healing as well. Well, I guess, come in over here. Where the hell is this guy? Hang on, just stop. This guy's at a close up. Or maybe I should have sent you. Because you're already damaged. If we're going to use him as a sacrifice. God, um, what's it called? Corn doesn't care about. You know, which blood is spilled. If we have to make sacrifices to spill lots of blood, so be it. So we did manage to destroy this. We've got 74% of the way. We're researching tech that will give them extra ammunition and extra missile strength. But obviously we're, gonna, we're not going to wait around for that. I want to bring these guys out, do they? We should be able to beat them. They still have like a magician or something. I think someone miscasts up here. Because they just took a lot of damage. Get him out of there. Yeah, I think you've had enough Archeon. You're going in. Could use him with the magic as well. Yeah, he doesn't need, actually need a direct line of sight to do this. Though. 
How about you do this one? I think over here would be more important. Got loads of kills going on. Burning a good direction, I think. There's nothing stopping us from doing another one either. Who's next? You're in. Off you go. We're kind of doing this Russian style, sending gu suicide guys in. So, I want to use both of these at the same time and get the recharge going really fast. Does damage to him, but he's got a potion of healing. up to uh, 20 magic and it's increasing still just fine God, fucking, fucking guns so we're gonna get rid of them first so this destroys before we can get in there and I didn't really kill enough of them or any of them for that matter That did a little bit better. How much do we have left? Okay, we need to basically rely on this if we want to recharge. They're not trying to shoot at him, they're shooting at this guy. Good. Easy to kill them like this. Come out this way. speed it up. One every five seconds. That's still pretty good. Let's get to crush them. Get back over here. So we've only got 25 magic reserve and that's that's when we're using these items. Time to send an all-out attack with these guys. Off you go. They've got outriders with grenade launchers. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to use it up that use that up again just yet. Like I said, if we lose all of these guys here, it doesn't matter. Easily replaced. We'll make more from sacking the city anyway. And it's really more about destroying these guys, so. Fine. The thing is, these outriders have only got so much ammunition. Dragon right about now. Right. 
probably get end up getting like a Pyrrhical close victory, even if these guys here don't even get a chance to fight. So it only looks at numbers, and look at the quality of the units that were killed. The thing is, these guys are quite experienced, but like I said, who cares? They're just marauders. They get disbanded soon anyway, because the guy's almost finished with his um, with his buildings to be able to build. Uh, what's it called? Chaos Warriors. Shoot us so fast. Got a flame shot right in there. Right in this would just be perfect. But I'm just waiting for maybe two more of uh, one more of this. There it is. Send it another one as well. Hopefully, it goes in that direction. No more magic for us now. That's it. You can go in and fight as well. You'll be alright. So let's see how our marauders hold out. I don't ex like don't expect much out of them. If you don't expect much out of them, you'll be disappointed. But once they've cleared off the majority of the filth, then we send in our elites. And our elites would be able to do a better job with them anyway, even though there's sort of less of them. One of the things that makes the Chaos Marauders quite weak is their lack of armor. But they're actually pretty decent in attack. That's why they've got 56 kills, you know, fighting superior units. Of course, it doesn't help the enemy that their general has been killed. They're doing a lot of damage to our guys. Because they do armor piercing to oh, Actually, armor piercing doesn't matter to him because they don't have any armor, does it? Just be careful not to die. I mean, you're no Archon. Uh, Archon. Whatever, fuck. Head towards the center. not in good shape there. Get him out of there. You guys need to go and help him. Go, go, go. Shouldn't have taken him away from, from his troops. thousand health, but I really just can't risk it. Okay, you guys, get ready to come in here. Oh, 
One of these outriders with grenades you know, play run out of ammo. Powerful units for this kind of situation. It's okay, like I said, we're just throwing away useless units. Well, not useless, but... Because, you know, if you have a look at the amount of kills again, some of them are doing pretty well. But they're not as strong as these guys. One didn't need them. Decisive victory despite all the losses. Cool. <laughs> We've lost one man, and it would have been one of these, so it would have been a chaos dwarf. And they lose everything. Of course, this army here is really in bad shape, but it doesn't really do much fighting anyway, it's still waiting. That's a lot of money just for winning the battle, but of course we had to kill a lot of units for that. Yeah, we need the money. Next time we attack that settlement, it's not going to be anywhere near as difficult. For one thing, it looks like most of their buildings were destroyed. So you can stay there. And you just need to move a little bit over here. Oh, jeez. Well, let's face it, this doesn't need as much replenishment as the other army. He needs to actually recruit some of his units back. I can't get Chaos Warriors now. Oh, I can, but it's the Halberdiers that I want. Now, out of curiosity, now that we've you know, really truly maxed out upkeep cost, how much is it going to cost me for a chosen Halberd? 139. The thing is, they're not that much better than Chosen Warriors Halberds at the moment. I mean, Chaos Warriors. Just due to melee attack. A melee attack is very important, and I can't level him up anymore. But then again, they're so cheap now. Let's see here. Okay, all good. All right, what else is there to do? You... You still need to replenish some of your losses. So are you actually going to get one back? Good. So it should only take two turns to replenish that in full. Next time we do that one, it'll probably just be an order resolve. I mean, we took out the, you know, took out the big strength. All right, moving on. Assaulted my unit, how bad is it? Barely even noticeable. Still, we're waiting for this to replenish. So you can stay there another turn. There's no rush. I mean, we, we got enough money just then, before we're at um, this settlement, to pay for. Um, pay for our troops for a little while. Yeah, just an auto resolve this time. That's an insult. OK, 
Okay, time for you to head back over this way. Now, you really could have used that potion of healing in the previous fight. Why couldn't we use it? It's because of the... Oh, yeah, because of the crown of domination. Better this than than the, than the uh, potion of healing, unfortunately. Looks like you lost something. These these things never last for, forever. Extra income from sacking. Look at that. Because we need more money. Even though we've got heaps, we only make that from sacking. Well, for the most part. Raiding isn't worth it. Upgrade that, that will give you reduced upkeep costs. Yeah, do that. It's only one growth, doesn't take long. Sack this. Oh man. Keep sacking it every turn, it's not really gaining us very much. I might actually just go outright and destroy that. There are other settlements we can abuse. Maybe Zavastra. Okay, Archeon's not replenishing, he needs- oh, because he raised the center to the ground. That's alright, he'll be fine. So, you. Said one more turn, didn't I? So we're at turn 105. We almost reached the Empire. But we need to destroy Kislev first. Alright, moving on. So they chickened out. I thought they were heading over here to fight him, but I guess not. What's this? That's pretty bad. Oh well, we'll still be growing because each of my guys have got that tribe growth thing, but it slows us down a little bit. That might be the end of that. How's your growth coming along? Yeah, whatever. Okay, so, where are we going next with you, Archeon? Yeah, if we. Oh, hang on. There's the uh, vampire counts all the way at Bechafen. Interesting. What have they got here? A few things. So they're higher ranked than I am. Let no man that has say to stop. otherwise, for it is mine lands you trade. I'm very belligerent. Alright, now if we attacked Kislev, the battle would be a lot wouldn't take as long as the other one. And you've got a dragon now too. You're not quite at full health, though. Oh, I thought you would have gotten your, um... Chariot back. It doesn't matter, we don't need it for this particular battle. So, we have to manually fight it, but that's fine with me. God damn it, another one of these fucking settlements. They're just annoying because I usually have to put them in this area somewhere and I, I usually get it right on the line. Plus it's crossfire, these two. They cross over. It's a lot easier when it's a line. Well, let's see if there's any weaknesses. Thing is, if we position here, that tower will get us. So we need to find somewhere where only one tower can can reach us. That spot is still here, but the thing is, this counts as two towers. 
And he can only soak up the ammunition from one of them. So here's our Chaos Dragon here. Let's get a bit of a look at it. So how much else do you have in total? I didn't give it that much extra. I guess it's just more about... I didn't give much armor either. I wonder if the Manticore is actually better. I doubt it. I'm sure this thing yeah, it does way more damage. Alright, so... We have to position in such a way that that doesn't get us. So that'll be coming out to here. If we position right... Right there, we should be safe. And these guys will have to position pretty close behind it. I think. So I'm sort of gambling everything on this position here. Because if it doesn't work, then... This is Kislev, by the way, so they're going to have upgraded shots. Or it needs to remain tight. Guess I can continue to move them back here a little bit. Stand right in front of them. Okay, don't be firing at will. And blow it up. And gamble paid off. Got it directly. Okay, just stand over here and let it keep shooting you. We'll need to use that potion of healing pretty much right away. Damn it, it's a bigger target than a manticore. I'm just trying to increase the amount of damage we do with that. Their mortars are also shooting, but I'm not too concerned about that. Plenty of magic in the area. So good, he's healing. How much longer does that last? Looks like another second. Still, looks like he healed about a thousand hit points from that. That's certainly no small amount. hits does a lot of damage. Hard to dodge. But, you know, better this than, than all my other infantry. Because it will do more damage to them. I can dodge it a lot easier with this. It should be destroyed soon. Excuse me. Shit. <coughs> that timing there. Okay, we're almost done with this. One more shot should do it. Alright, good. Okay, that's the hard part over. Alright, getting close. Now we need to destroy a section of wall. 
Alright, artillery, I want you to destroy this section here. We need to come over this way. You, let's go have some fun. What the fuck were you doing over there? Oh, I must have set him... I didn't set him up. Doesn't matter. So he's dead. It's not the end of the world. I didn't even realize that. They shot their own troops there. We can still get him out if he get, takes too much more damage. Just want to use this in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, guns, I don't like. Get out of there. There. I only killed four of them, but I'm sure we did a bit more damage than that. Fuck, get back. I just can't see a really good shot to use this on at the moment. Why don't we go have a fight on these handgunners over here? He had more health. Maybe I should have waited another turn. Come on, move it. Go over there and fight them. And they can't attack air. Burn them. Let's see how they go attacking this ship. Definitely did some damage to it, but you know, didn't destroy it. Getting shot too much. We gotta get out of here. Come on, move it. Fuck me sideways. I was better off with the Manticore, I think. Okay, you're magic only at this point. Just no more of this. I'll give them one more, and then that's it. I need to stand back. Not going so well so far. I still think we'll win, but it's, it's being costly. So you've only killed 19 out of all that. I think got a thousand drops left. Yeah, I wasn't, wasn't really happy with its performance there. I don't know if I did anything, but the thing is, you know, a lot of missile units there as well. It's not completely, I mean, we've got tons of magic here. Surely we can get another chance to use it. shoot at us. At least these things only take one turn to recruit. See, I was standing over there the entire time getting shot and I didn't even realize it. He's still trying to destroy my bloody dragon. Gotta be careful though, because if it was Archeon. Oh god damn it. Fucking trees in the way. Stand a bit more over here. Because if that doesn't get destroyed, we're gonna be in trouble. We have to then scale the walls. Which I might do as well as getting through here. Just be careful, watch out for. Shit. I was gonna say, watch out for that. But move quicker. This isn't easy here. Not at all. Even using this, you know, technique. 
Okay, we just gotta got get, you know, away from the goddamn trees. Because they don't have unlimited ammunition, and, you know... They should still have enough. It doesn't take up half their ammunition to destroy this. So just a bit of patience now. Yeah, you know, it does a bit more damage. Maybe I'm not going to do this whole battle in 20 minutes. It's already been like 12. Where are we going? No, 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 stop. You three come over here. I'm going to send them up on the walls. have you only used up like 10 ammo extra and that was already at 30 percent maybe you can destroy this do you think i don't know let's get a bit closer it's getting closer The thing is, cavalry is like near useless when it comes to assaulting settlements. Oh crap. Artillery. How are we going with that anyway? We didn't really eliminate enough of their ammo. Or whatever. Once we get up there, they're more likely to shoot their own troops. Well, they're equally likely to at least. Showed them. Right, you guys going through here. The guys on the walls are. are they engaged? Oh shit. Fucking mortars. That's why we need to keep some reserve. Blow that up. I'm sure you could kill this archer up here, but it's risky because if they start shooting at us, hang on, here we go. We might just burn them instead. Just blowing them up so much. Fuck, he eradicated something there. Good, he's actually got a lot of kills now. How much magic? 60 left, so pretty much the normal amount now. with grenade launchers, yeah. That needs to be destroyed. Gotta put a stop to them. Where the fuck do you think you're going? Okay, they're all preoccupied. Finding my guys here. You go and kill those archers. I want you two to stop. My guy's actually doing a really good job, I think. They've barely taken any damage so far. Typically, we lost one, you know, doing 
You're being stupid. Just, I didn't notice. Yeah. Accidents happen. I can't do anything about that. Okay, if that gets down to 500 health, you need to leave. Get in there. We'll push through anyway. He's still doing okay. He seems to be aggressive, I think. Got to keep it on him. If that goes too low, he dies. Gonna be pissed off. Pissed off at myself, of course. We don't want this guy shooting. Almost finished up on there. Okay, I need, I need. Oh shit! I don't have any flame left. I don't have any magic. I've got to get rid of these. Just push through them if you can. I don't think that's a really good idea. I don't know. Because those grenade launchers, they're a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm gonna send the dragon over to go get it. I think we've almost won. So be careful of those guns. You should charge into the guns as well. They're terrible in melee, but if they shoot you, you're fucked. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go, go, go. Got rid of their ca oh no we didn't. But move it. Fly. Fly you fuck. Good. Get out of here. We disrupted them a little bit at least, giving our guys a bit more, bit more um, room to move. What is this guy doing over here? Go kill him. You guys go kill them. Okay, now come around over here. I reckon one more flame on them. If we just no, we don't need to use it. We've, we've got them surrounded here. Right, that's okay. I mean, the dragon is definitely useful, but walking into the battle with only half health didn't do us any favor. Favors. But the thing is, are we really going to wait around for fucking five turns or whatever to, for him to heal? No, I don't think so. Might be a good idea just to get into a couple of really silly fights, like as in small scale, just so we can keep using the potion of healing because it will translate onto the other um, campaign map. Just be careful here. He did a little bit of damage. It'll be oh no, a couple of minutes before I can use it again. But anyway, we're pressing in. Oh, we've won anyway. Okay, great. 
This would have gone perfectly, actually, if it wasn't for that unit that died, because none of these battalions are really that badly damaged. Well, I wouldn't say perfect, but see, decisive victory, even though, you know, we made an idiotic move with this guy. Luckily, it wasn't our most experienced unit. It wasn't even idiotic, I just forgot to move him, I wasn't checking the map. Oh, look, just over an hour. That's okay, like, like I said, we'll just recruit another one. That pays for our army. And that pays for even more. I foresee destruction. Okay, so obviously, we'll need to, you know, destroy it. But you'll need to spend another turn recruiting. I don't start off with any experience. Um, it doesn't really matter that much. I think we just need to get ourselves some fresh ones. Like, it doesn't matter if that one's damaged because that one's got lots of experience, but one of these ones here that have, like, low-tier experience doesn't really matter. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part uh, 10 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.